The Drop with Frank and Brian is officially brought to you by Switch Suspension. Switch Suspension specializes in all vehicle chassis components. Lift kits, lowering kits, air ride suspension, wheels, tires, steering, and brake upgrades. They use all the best products from the best brands. And these guys are truck guys. You roll into their parking lot at the shop and they all drive custom vehicles. So they use their products that they sell on their own vehicles. So if you guys are looking for anything for your vehicles, whether you're just starting out or you just need some replacement parts or whatever, give them a call or visit their website, switchsuspension.com. What's up guys, we're at Rolling with Red Rocks and we have uh, an announcement. We have a brand new giveaway going down. We have a Kenwood head unit and a backup camera. And a t-shirt. And a t-shirt. Uh, courtesy of Chris from Allen Ed's Escondido. This is our new giveaway, part of our new giveaway. And all you gotta do to enter is either go to livelifecustom.com, grinder-tv.com. And for every five dollars you guys spend, you get one entry to the drawing. And we have new banner, you have new banner on there. We have new banners, we have koozies, we're gonna have some new shirts coming pretty soon, so keep an eye on them. Yeah, thanks, enjoy the podcast. Can you hear me? I can hear you now, yes. Does it sound all right? It sounds great. And then, this, so this, okay. Yeah, so it's like, you know the bar that jumps up green yeah. to yellow red mm -hmm. it like was down in the just the green Ooh. so it did that that one time so luckily i looked at it yeah well you didn't get too far and we'll yeah. see what happens um but yeah so when people cut me off and stuff like yeah. now or they get in front i just it doesn't even phase me i'm someone, getting that i'm getting someone that too if someone almost hits me i don't even flinch they just go ahead of me i'm not quite there yet yeah i still get upset but i am quickly i mean like i said I, you, you can't go a day without hearing something going wrong somewhere. Uh, just recently, I heard someone back, like this dude backed into a car, drove, didn't, I don't think even knew he backed in the car, drove away, guy followed him, shot him. Yeah. You know, like, so you don't, it's it's too rowdy out there. And maybe, you know what, maybe there are young kids out there who are just as, like, you know, aggressive and angry as I was when I was young. And maybe it I'm seems just like the older, different the older lens. people, it seems like the older people are the more aggressive, angry ones now. Seems to or be. Or at least angry. Yeah, seems to be. Anyway, we're, so. we're we're getting off track. You and your jet, you're going to start doing jet videos. Sorry yeah. to the mini truck community. Yeah, you're hanging sorry, it guys. Up. <laughs> yeah. just, doing jet, just doing jet videos from now on. Yeah. Um, the thing, though, the thing you were talking about, um, about, like, uh, our kids, like, that's going to happen to us. Like, I, this thing was, to, I was saying, like, give me, thinking about dealing with my parents, and you are saying that we're going to be down the same road. Maybe not. Remember last week I was saying how, there's like this uh, consensus of opinion saying that like we've sort of like planed out a little bit on te technological advances. Oh uh, no, have you, you don't seen think the so? new Apple thing that came out? What is that? Well, I I literally just heard about that the other day. They're, they're it's goggles. Like what's happening? Yeah. So so uh, Google has them right. But well, yeah, they have the Google the, Glass. Well, that that and then they have the other one that's out. I don't know about that. Uh, one. It's so basically it's like um, I don't. Why does this sound so weird? It's very like hissy. Like you're uh, like you're in a. Uh, how are you hearing it? H hissy. Like, do I sound hissy? It sounds staticky. Me, but that what you're hearing is not recording. Y you. No, I know. Hold on. Technical difficulties on this week's episode of the Drop of Frank and Brian. I don't yeah. think we've introduced ourselves in a while. I'm Frank. Hi. That's Brian. This is the drop. Oh, Derek. With there Frank and Brian. All right. Oh, now you sound way different. Now you sound, now you're having me concerned because you sound too good. Do I? No. Do I? Yeah, because now I'm hearing you through the microphone. Yes. Yes. When I should be hearing you through the computer's microphone. Yes. You should be hearing me through this one. That's the but one. This one is way staticky on my end. Really? Interesting. Uh -oh. So that, that one sounds weird? No, that one sounds really nice. It sounds like it, you're getting it through the microphone. That's how I'm hearing you. Yeah, because my input is through the Rode NT USB. The other one was through the microphone built um, in. Yeah. So now the output is through my headphones. But is it all? But is the Rode Connect uh, program recording it? Yeah, it is recording me. Oh, okay. Well, then, I mean, so, if it works, it works. If yeah, it doesn't, but, this is the one that went bad. Yeah, this is it. This is where we went off the rails. 59 or 58. <laughs> 58. 58 yeah um anyways yeah it's a it's cr they're, they're crazy and they're not meant for everybody but for the per for what they are what are they explain to me what are they they're goggles where you put them on your hit your face uh-huh and you don't it's you can you can whatever you what you can watch a movie you can watch a basketball game oh. you can watch it you could play video games 
And so like, it's like a so VR got, headset you could see it's a through. V, it's a VR. You can't see through it. Oh, you can't see through it. It's got two 4K. Sc- it's got two screens I on see. your eyeballs. Okay. Okay. Like I see what's right? happening here. Yeah. When you look at it, there's apps just like on your phone. If you mm-hmm. want to look, if you want to select an app, you look at it. It's got cameras that detect your eye movement. Wow. Amazing. You look at the app and it go. And if you want to select the app, you go like this. You just with your, your f- with your just fingers. with your fingers sitting next to you. Wow. And if you want to scroll up, you just go. Huh. And then you could stretch the screen. It could be as big as you want. Wow. You could Amazing. talk to people and you could look at your computer and it'll connect to your computer and your computer screen will go off your computer screen and up here. Huh. Wow. Yeah. That's it's pretty very interesting. Go- it's very goofy looking because it's something on your face. Yeah. And I don't know how well it's going to do because that whole realm is just, it never caught on well because people don't like wearing things on their face. Yeah. Um, my kids wanted one so badly, like the the VR headset thingy. Yeah. And so these ones, like, are 30, these ones are $3,500. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. They're typical Apple Apple stuff, right? Yeah, but like I've watched a few videos on them and I don't it's not something for me, but I have a few people that they said, yeah, you know, they're going to get one and interesting. You know, if you're constantly working on multiple screens, you can have those screens now just in front of your face and then you just it's I don't know, it's pretty crazy. Wild. Wow. It'll be interesting. It'll be interesting to see how that world takes over, but yeah, no, we th- we don't think that we think we're at the peak of tech. Mm-hmm. No, well, it can only go up. Yeah, I mean, they're talking. Of Elon Musk is going to put stuff in your brain. Yeah, well, you know, why not? Yeah. <laughs> oh wow, yeah, yeah. Anyway, um, anyway, who knows? so, we'll so see. what's been what's been going on? What have you been doing this week uh, since, the, since I saw you on Sunday? Yeah, yeah, we we saw each other on Sunday. We went to the show. Um, just another normal week around here, just doing stuff, you know, yeah. doing stuff, all the stuff. But, uh, but last weekend was a lot of fun. It was really yeah, so. cool. Um, we kind of been talking about it leading up to it. We talked about how it was me and Angie's anniversary, what we, what we were going to do, what we didn't do. Uh, um, what, what did you do? We ended up going cause it's kind of funny. I guess I'll tell the whole story. Yeah. Um, Angie really wanted to go to like, just go to a pool and hang out, which is funny yeah. because it's very cool around california right now southern california yeah. it's very cool which actually probably wouldn't be it wouldn't have been fun anyway because it would have been so cold anywho she wanted to do that so at morongo casino morongo down in cabazon they have like a like a lazy river and they have pools and stuff that you can actually go hang out and like you don't have to be a guest at the hotel you can go down there pay like 25 30 bucks hang out for the day except on the weekend then you have to be part of the hotel so we're back to square one what do we want to do well you know us dodger games that's what we love to do the only problem with that is, I mean, and it's not a problem. This is just me maybe being, you know, cheap, particularly cheap or whatever. But um, it was a Yankees Dodger game. So yeah. they're notoriously more expensive. So the seats that we usually sit in that we're used to paying like 40, 50 bucks ish, maybe they were 100 bucks a piece with with the fees. The fee. Everybody talks about the fees now. Um, you know, they were like a couple hundred bucks, 250 bucks, something like that. So. We decided to say, screw it. We're going to we're going to do it. We, we went and we lost <laughs> the Dodgers yeah, lost. I was, I was watching it the was a, it was kind of an off the rails game. Technically speaking, I mean, we can get way to it about like, um, you know, they substituted their DH and then that things kind of went off the rails from there because anyway, that's that's deep baseball stuff. Anyway, yeah, um, we lost, but it was still fun um, from a like. Like we always talk about on this podcast, we're always trying to make ourselves better. We're always trying to do better, try to be better people. And uh, a couple of years ago, we went to a game. It was a, a SF Giants Dodgers game. That's a the pretty big rivalry between those two teams. Um, so there is some animosity towards that team, especially you know when you're playing them in person. And uh, it was my birthday, and uh, we went down there, went to that game. We lost, and I got really upset. You know, th- there are certain points in my life that things happen. And then I reflect on those little moments to, you know, again, try to be better. So uh, we went to that game and I was really upset and it kind of just ruined everything. Like my sister came. It just wasn't fun for anybody because I was upset over a dumb baseball game. Right. Yeah. But I learned from that. I learned from that and I learned that that was it made ev- to brought everybody down. Let's not do that. So, you know, things went off the rails. We started losing this game. I didn't get upset. I was just like, oh, well, you know, it does get annoying when you have like 10,000 Yankee fans. You know, oh, yeah, that's <laughs> Which, all fun. but you got to remember that's fun for them. That's fun for them. Yeah. So, you know, but it was cool. But my point is, is always trying to find these little things to make yourselves better. That's what this podcast is about to middle aged men making themselves better. That's what I did. Uh, anyway, 
Um, but it was fun. We did that. Uh, we sent the kids off with my sister for the weekend. So it was just me and Angie. Um, so we did that all day, got home, got up the next day, went down to the show, the unfinished business show that, that you also attended. And it was, it was great, man. It was such a cool weekend just yeah. cause like, you know, hanging out with Angie, a little one-on-one was awesome. Um, seeing the, the club on Sunday, which was a lot of fun. You know, yeah. it was, the whole thing was just, was a great weekend for, for me. Yeah. So we're, what, what we're, we're talking okay, about? so we're okay, in, let's go back. Who knows? We're, we're, we, if you've listening to this now, you didn't hear it, but we just went through some technical stuff. A bunch of technical stuff. Yeah. But I think we got it worked out. I think we did too. So that's what, we're, that, oh. that, that, we're talking about Paris Fairgrounds. So Paris Fairgrounds, we were talking about the weekend. Me and Andrew, we had a great time. It was our anniversary, yeah. 16th wedding anniversary. Which is crazy. Um, Congratulations. Thank you. We, uh, uh, like it's been pointed out before. We are the second um, longest running marriage that Roe has uh, been a part of. Oh, that's what I was going to get. Did you get the thing that Donald made us? Oh, no. Did you take it? <laughs> no, I, well, we, he gave us two. No, no, he gave us one. No, two. One for you, one for oh, me. Did? Oh, I only saw the one. You, you didn't get one? No, he just. I think, it, I think it was only one. No, it was two. He showed me two in his hands. Oh, I didn't get the other one. No, I did not. Who took it? I don't know. <laughs> you didn't know oh, that man. one of them was for you I, I only saw the one he pulled one out of his bag he's all here check this out I'm like oh sick cool thanks and then like that was it yeah they were sitting on the thing I'll have to look at my tote but uh, okay. I was going to set it right here because I think Donald just gives us gifts so he could we he could does. talk Donald about Donald is just I don't know, super nice but I think dude. he just does it so we could talk about him on the podcast oh <laughs> sneaky good job good job Donald we, I like we, it we talk about it often we do but uh but yeah, so only second to, to Donald and, and his marriage that um, I, I don't know when they got married. He told me, but I forgot. Um, but yeah, so yeah, second longest running marriage that Roe has um, been a part of. Officiate, All the others are not officiated, but uh, not DJ, officiated, DJ. but like DJ. Yeah. yeah, been a part of. Yeah, been a part of it. Um, All the others have um, failed, not failed, out, not worked out well. <laughs> He should do like a tally of which ones are still together. And Joey should do the same that he's officiated. Which ones? Yeah, have, that's a good one. Which ones have lasted and which ones have not? Yeah, yeah. Because Joey is a, a, a ordained, ordained minister, minister, I think is the right right term. Yeah. So he married you. Yep. He's married a few other people within the scene. So yep. it's kind of cool. Yeah, we it have, is kind of cool. We have our own little wedding planner package. Yeah. Yeah. The, FFF, the, mini the trucker. FFF mini trucker pl- package. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Well, mm-hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. So, uh, Angie, me and Angie's wedding anniversary, went to Dodger game, told that story about how I was a piece of crap before, but I'm trying not to be a piece of crap anymore. Yeah. That's, and uh, it was fun. Yeah. It was a lot of so, fun. So, I left my house at three o'clock. I did my normal turn and burn to SoCal, mm-hmm. you know, and it's funny because everyone's like, hey, you know, I have room to stay at that, you know, if you want to stay at my house and and uh you know eric always tells me that my buddy will told me that like and i like i appreciate it a ton you know what i mean but Mm -hmm. i like waking up at home that and it's a bit of a like uh uh like a mission like a little like accomplishment to say like you bombed out there you did what you had to do and then you came you came back this one was a little rough oh it was so the night before so the show is on sunday so saturday night i think i like laid down around nine and i didn't fall asleep till like midnight Ooh, and i was like laying there at 11 30 i'm all should i just leave now and then sleep in my truck in the morning there and i was like nah and i fell asleep and then i woke up at two so i got about a little over two hours of sleep wow yeah i left at three uh it was funny because you know on my way i get off at highway 79 in beaumont and take that down ramona expressway Mm mm-hmm and it was foggy right there. And I don't, you don't, we don't get fog here. Right. So I was like, it was crazy how you don't realize that you miss something until it's not like, I, I was like, oh, I remember this. Yeah. Like morning fog. This is amazing. And uh, then when I was like going down Ramona Expressway up over the hill to, to the fairgrounds and stuff, I started getting anxiety. Yeah. You, yeah. You explained that to me. That's an interesting thing. Yeah. Because that, our show there basically, you know, gave me PTSD. Right. So right. Well, I mean, so, so much that could just going there, I was, wasn't even on my show and I was getting nervous. Yeah. Cause uh, well, some of our, if our listeners don't know the forbidden fantasy show was hosted at the Lake Paris fairgrounds which, for many, many years, which is where this show we went to was hosted. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Which is where Rezo used to be and where West coast nationals used to be. 
Yeah, and a summer madness one time was there. Yep. So yeah, but it was a good time. I'm, I'm like, yeah, the club got to park right in front of the booth, and everyone just hung out. And I that was great. Paris Fairgrounds and the Inland Empire in general, especially like that portion of the Inland Empire, mm-hmm. always brings out people that because our club was so big in the Marino Valley area that like I saw people there from that used to be in the club that haven't been in the club in 15, 20 years, you know, that like all it's, it's it's always just brings out. I think that's why our show was so successful because of where it was. It always brought out the people in that area. So, yeah, no. And from, you know, it was interesting because from my perspective, that's how you and most of the club felt because most of the club has been in the club for a very long time, especially again, because the, the Marino Valley guys, yeah, like Adam, Rob, uh, big Steve, like, Glenn, they were all talking about it, like all these stories and reminiscing. Yeah, and all stuff. they've all been I in since they've all been in since the late nineties, early two thousands. Right. So they have that same experience as you do. I didn't have that. Like, you know, they're looking at me like, Yeah, you feel that too? And I was like, No. Not really. Because yeah. I have a different perspective on it. I attended the Forbidden Fantasy show since two thousand one, but I attended as a as an attendee. So for me it was a great experience. It was always it was always like a highlight of the year. It was a back then it that was the first show of the year for us to do. Um like I said, started going in 2001. I didn't start vending until 2008. Yeah. So it was, you know, quite a few years later. But um, as a spectator, being in my club, my small club from the high desert, like that was the biggest show of the year for us, you know. So that was a highlight from in that in the early time. And then once I became a vendor and started you know, selling the brand and everything, that became the first show of the year that we would attend. So not LST. It would be, you know, Forbidden Fantasy in, in March. And um, so I only really have like really positive, great memories of this show, you know? Yeah. Because it was always such a fun time. Um, I think most of the memories we have are positive. It's just they were very well, like yeah. hard working. Like we did not go there and enjoy ourselves. That Yeah. Like yeah. we do now. Like that. when we go to the show now, we enjoy ourselves. Right. We knew that that, that weekend was just going to be two extremely long days of a lot of work, you know? So, yeah, no, I, I totally get it. And and it was interesting to hear everybody, you know, reminisce and talk about it because like everybody who, who rolled up the for that's the first thing that they would talk about is just, you know, the, the experiences from the years prior. Um, but that's, uh, you know, we said before on this podcast and we're saying it because we haven't said it in a while, but that's the reason why one of the main reasons it was moved to to Laughlin. Yeah, was because it did turn into this monster. And who knew who knows? Had maybe look at it like had you like continued on and just really stuck with it, you know, out of whatever um, the club might not exist. Who no. knows? Yeah. Well, it wouldn't exist the way it exists now. Right. Because it would. Yeah. It, it 100 percent wouldn't. It wouldn't have been good. Yeah. So. so it was probably one of the, the pivotal moments in the history of this club. It was. Which is now spanning 30 years because we're having our 30 year anniversary this year. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, it's it's an interesting thing to, to really objectively look at yeah. and think about, you know, but also like uh, the one year that so th- I started petitioning the club in 2014 yeah. and I got voted in in 15. Um, so in 14. No, no, it, it already passed. So 15 um, was the last year was, my, we, was the last year was the, was the last year at, uh, at Paris. And I was sort of since I was a part of the club, like I was sort of, but I was also vending, you know, but that was my experience kind of seeing the back end of it was only that one year. Yeah. So, you know, I had a bit of like a small, like a sliver. Well, we called you like the 50 percent. Remember? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's right. Cause you would yeah. only work <laughs> that's right. uh, in the morning a little bit and then you would have to go yeah. to your booth like that. Yeah. That was the thing. So like, uh, yeah, you were the 50 percenter. Yeah. And, you know, that's another thing that was born out of that. What we do now. Yeah. You know, now is it's very, you know, stated in the beginning is like, look, if you want to help in the show, that's great. If you don't, that's fine, too. Yeah. You know, it's already all kind of laid out. Um, One of the main things. I've talked about this before, so it's not anything new, but I guess it's worth visiting again. But one of the, the main reasons when I left my old club was it wasn't it evolved into something that I didn't sign up for. Yeah. You know. Like it, it, things changed and that's just natural. Like people's, you know, personalities change, things change, people's lives change and it naturally evolves and just turned into something that I didn't sign up for in the beginning. But 
that's one thing that is really great about the organization that we have now is everything is pretty laid out. Like these, this is how things are, yeah. you know, and this is what we expect and this is how things move on. And then you just go, okay, cool. Yeah. Like that's it. Like it's very easy. Yeah. You know? Well, the thing is, is your, your truck club or car club, like our truck club forbidden fantasy, we're not, we're not a show promoter first truck club. Second, we're a truck club first show show. And then we have a show that you don't get into the club because you want to throw the show you get into the club because you want to be a part of a club you know right. so that's why the show is voluntary it's it's just it just works out that way because you know especially people that weren't in the that were in the club like before the show which is not very many people but you know what i mean but then all of a sudden it's like some of the members they could be like well that wasn't my idea to throw the show right so i don't like doing this so i don't want to do it so right you know yeah again like just imagine if it was it wasn't like that you know there are many and i'm not talking about anybody in particular but there are many shows out there who rely on their club to to pers- participate and help yeah and you know it, it strains the the relationships i think you know it does Be- so, because there's so many people that work behind the scenes and then the people that work the day of the show don't see that so they think that that person's not doing as much as they are or they see someone else hanging out and having a good time while they're running around working and they so they think mm-hmm. You know, or someone shared a post on inst or on social media more than this person shared a post, or this person drove across town to get this, and this person didn't drive anywhere. And it's just like, look, you can't compare these things. You can't compare yourself to one to another person. It's just you have to want right. if you want to do it and know that the other people are not going to do it, and you have to be okay yeah. with that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And that's and that's life in general. Yeah. You know, I think a lot of uh, this is just an unfounded thinking, but you know, maybe a lot of people. Oh, they like it's they, remember how we were taught last week. We were talking about raffles being transactional. It's yeah. like, OK, you bought a raffle ticket and now here's your prize. People try to apply that to like kind of everything else, too. They think everything is like transactional. Like I did X or A, so I get B. You didn't do A, so you shouldn't. get. You know what I mean? And I yeah. think that people fall into that that trap a bit. But, you know, but no. Um, yeah. Speaking of speaking of that, it was it was really cool this weekend. Uh, there was a number of things that were cool. We were back at Paris yeah. Fairgrounds, so there was like the memory part of it. Um, a lot of the SoCal chapter was there, which that doesn't happen yeah, that was a cool. lot. Um, mm-hmm. And then the other part of it was Roulette was there, and he wasn't DJing. I know. I uh, he, he on the last episode, I specifically said that. Yeah. And when as soon as he pulled up and and he walked up, I'm like. You proved me wrong, Ro. And he didn't even know, too, because the episode had oh, air right. to the yeah, next yeah, yeah. day. So I, I'm all, you proved me wrong. And he's like, huh? And I and I told him, I said, yeah. oh, on the podcast, I had mentioned that, you know. And uh, no, yeah, it was really great. It was it was a really good experience. I and think then, it was a, and, a much needed experience. Oh, you know? yeah. Yeah. And you and Angie were there. Didn't have a booth. That was, Yeah, that was awesome. That was I, a, that was I cool. had a booth, but we kind of shared the responsibility because uh-huh. that's just what we do. Yeah. And then, like, we didn't really have the the pressure to film anything but like yeah so you went out you pull my cameras yeah well you went out and made reels and then mm-hmm. i pulled my camera out just because i could make a little short video or reels later yeah and like but there was no it was just and it was the show was like smaller it wasn't small there was 180 vehicles there that they which was surprising yeah, yeah which was surprising because the area we were in wasn't very big no and uh yeah, it was just cool. And there was like a bunch of no regrets there, severed ties, mm-hmm. free. Like, and we were right by the entrance to the derby room. Mm-hmm. Yeah, everything was like so good. The park. Yeah, everything was great. Was I being weird? At the, was I like being weird at all? Remember how I was being weird, the chicken sandwich deal, and I was kind of yeah. high strung? Did I? No, I didn't, I didn't get that vibe. No. And I felt like that all day. Really? It could have been the lack of sleep. <laughs> it was 100% the lack of sleep. And yeah. I was like not <laughs> looking forward to driving home. I was like, Everyone's like, you you want to hang out at the house? And I, in my head, I'm all, that's probably the smart thing to do. Yeah. But af, like, but I'm like, no, I'm just going to go home. But I was like, how far am I going to make it? I'm going to get a hotel in like Beaumont or something. Oh, my gosh. And being banning. Yeah. <laughs> so, and I'm like, mm, but I got on the road. Oh, I didn't leave there till seven. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Someone yeah, was like, I, it's seven I, That's o'clock. what I felt bad about because like. It, you know, like we were like, Andrew was angry. Andrew was a little hangry. I admit it, you know? And so we bounced, but yeah, I was hoping wanted to stay more. Well, no, it was like someone was, and it was still light, super light out. Someone's like, it's seven. Mm-hmm. I'm on seven. I got to go. Yeah. So like, yeah, took off and I was totally fine all the way home. 
Oh, really? Oh, yeah. cool. So it worked out. Yeah. I thought I seriously thought I was going to be on the side of the road falling asleep. But wow. No, it was good. Wow. No, it was, it was really cool. And then uh, one point that stuck out with me, again, trying to make myself better. Like, I didn't have a booth, so I brought the Forerunner, which yep. is a, a feat in its own, which was cool. But uh, I got roasted a little bit. Oh, that was, that was a good time. <laughs> Yeah, well, no, yeah, I'm not I'm not upset about it. It was good though. It's good though. Yeah. It was, you know, I think it's like constructive criticism almost, oh, but yeah, yeah. in a different way to do it, like in our own way, which is kind of like roasting each other a little bit, and then you go like, oh yeah. So like I brought the truck, I washed it, it was clean, but there was like dirt on the floorboards and like <laughs> the engine was a mess and well, the engine like, is I'm the, like the engine's a thing because you don't need to pop the hood. So the engine can look like whatever it wants. You're right, the one that, that went and popped the hood. You did that to I yourself. Know, I know I was well the thing about me is is I guess I just like, oh you guys want to see everything? I'll yeah. show you everything. Um, but uh no, no but now that I definitely took that away like okay I gotta be better here. I got to like come. Well, know, especially when you're parking next to nice vehicles and well, you're like when parking next to Adam. Yeah. With his brand new car. So like, that, but that's, well, not only that, but it's cheating. He's cheating. Well, he has a brand new car. You have an old truck. Yeah, I know. But Adam, you know how Adam is. He's a very oh. particular person and everything. Like you look at his car and everything is perfect. I'm surprised he was not over there wiping yours down. <laughs> she's just like i can't handle this because that's happened like to me before out because i'm also a very lazy club member so uh -huh. like when it comes to my vehicle at least so like there's been times where i overslept at a truck run because i drank too much and someone just drove my truck to the show for me oh really they did the whole that part for i never even went over there <laughs> the truck left and just came back to me at that's the funny. at the campground later but yeah it was just uh, that was pretty funny yeah no it's good i i think it's good because it's like in a very playful manner, it's kind of holding everybody accountable. Well, you also, know? that's a part of that whole thing you don't think about because you don't take your vehicle to a show that much. You're mostly thinking right. about the booth. Right, right. Now it's like, oh, wait. So it's almost like you have to switch modes to like, oh, I actually have to bring a bottle of Meguiar's and yeah. a rag and like make this thing look nice if I'm going to run this logo because these guys are doing it with theirs. And yeah, it's a whole thing. It's a whole thing, it's but I'm going to be thing. better at it. I'm going to, I'm going to be better. I'm going to yeah. take, you know, what I learned and, and apply it later on. But the whole day was, was super fun. Um, Chris uh, and Sunset who hosted the event and Chris from Alan Ed's Escondido who uh, sponsored the event. Yep. You know, everybody did a good job. Everything went real smooth. That raffle was crazy. It did. And which is so funny after last week's episode after talking about raffles and stuff and i kind of knew that going into it yeah but definitely that was like i was thinking about a lot during that well, raffle because that he, that he thing was two and a half hours long oh well he brought up a very good term hmm. raffle fatigue oh chris did chris himself? did afterwards oh, he, goes, okay. he goes i definitely know what raffle fatigue is now he goes dude we got to figure that out yeah. but sitting there listening also i didn't win anything i know this <laughs> Did you spend, I went, you spent a hundred dollars. Hundred dollars. Hey, wait, hold on. I just realized something. Yes. Are you? Oh yeah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I have and these t-shirts will be on the website the day this drops. Yeah, and for our audio listeners, I just realized Brian is also wearing a drop shirt. Yes. <laughs> it is much too big for me now, but um these drop shirts, we're gonna put them on the website. So if you're listening to this. Mm -hmm. We're going to have some drop shirts and you're going to get double points to our June entry. Yep. Yep. Which yeah. is tied into exactly the conversation we're having because just it's for a Kenwood double den head unit and backup camera courtesy uh, of Alan Ed's Escondido. Yeah. So here we are. Yeah. But anyway, raffle fatigue, <laughs> raffle fatigue. So sitting there, I was like, okay, well, if I want to our raffle at our show, I want to make it bigger than last year. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be pretty. It's, just as big as his. So I'm like, well, how do we make it not two and a half hours long? Right. So I came up with a plan. We're going to have two raffles throughout the day. We're going to have a midday raffle and an end of the day raffle. And we're also going to raffle off every something every 20 minutes. So you'll, yeah. So it'll be just like pull a ticket every 20 minutes. If you're at lunch, you can come back, check your ticket. If it's on the board, you pick that prize and then yeah. we'll do like two o'clock. We'll stop everything. Boom, raffle. And then everyone can go hang out and then we'll do another one. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, yeah that's a cool idea. And that's what everybody's doing. They're just trying to figure it out. And that was, I, I for, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but was that the first time that he's hosted a, ho a show like that? Or has he no, done No, so shows? he had, so he, oh, no, he used rewind, to do the Anaheim show. The Rewind. That's right. 
That's right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So and his I, raffle no, was huge started. there, but this raffle was yeah. even bigger. So like, yeah. You know, I think that's so you think about that. You're like, oh, I want to have this huge raffle. But at the same time, you're like, oh, that's a lot of time. Yeah. That that takes up throughout the day. And then a Sunday show is real tough because you got everyone wants to go home. They got to work the next day. Right. Right. I mean, yeah. not us, but yeah, not us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, it was it was a, it was an experience. That was an experience. And it was cool. Like you said, seeing everybody um running into people you know here again hearing all the positive comments you know on what we're doing over here we really appreciate it it's great yeah even the negative ones let us know if you don't like it yeah yeah yeah, yeah. you know what i respect the guy who's going to come up to me and says you know what it's terrible or <laughs> yeah so we respect the people that listen to it we respect the people it's that gonna hurt my feelings a little yeah. bit I mean, we respect the people that don't listen to it yeah and then but we need to respect the people that listen to it and also do not like it yeah that's true they I would like to hear hear what they have to say what is that called hate listening Hate, oh yeah, hate, hate yeah, hate watching or hate listening. Yeah, Those, well, I mean that might be you know just or you know maybe 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 not be so mean about it. Just be like, hey, you know what? I I want li- to like I want to listen to you guys, but but Frank's posture like, is too good. Oh, I know. <laughs> that was the other thing. I've been thinking about that too. I was like, someone did comment on my posture. Who was and it? Maybe did for, we find out who that was? No, I did. I looked for it. I was very curious to see who said that, but I couldn't find it. It's just because if I hunch over, my back hurts. So I'm very like, huh? yeah, you know. Um, and for other people who only audio listen, they're like, I don't even know what they're talking about right now. Yeah. But yeah, yeah unfinished business. Unfinished Great business. show. Great show. Uh, we need okay. We need more shows in SoCal mm-hmm. that are not in the desert. Not in the desert. There are none in the desert. There's a cancer show. Oh, the can- oh, sorry, 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 Shane. Gosh. Yes, there's the cancer show. Uh, <laughs> the other one that's down the street from your house that you just don't set your booth up at. Well, it's, Frank oh, only yeah. takes his booth to out of state shows. That's well, I mean, that's a real thing. Yeah. You know, the closest that I the and the way I figure it is, is the closest I get to it is either like our show or the Chubb show because it's so close. Everybody from SoCal is going there anyway. Yeah. You know, so that's where I kind of like, and maybe I'm wrong in that thinking, maybe, you know, whatever, but, but also like I do, excuse me, I do have to, um, like set some sort of line, like, yeah. well, I think by, it, by the local shows, I can take the forerunner. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That, that makes sense. But yeah, so there's, we need more SoCal shows. We need more SoCal shows in general, you know? Just because, but you know, people, well, but there are, there are events. There there's are, a, well, there's a million stuff. events. It's just uh, mm-hmm. events we don't have to drive across country for. That's true. Or no, yeah. events that we can hang out with our friends at. Not that, that that's bad too. Events that we can hang out with our SoCal <laughs> club members. There How's you go. That? Yeah. I like that. Because like our that. SoCal club members don't do anything except for 30 minutes wherever from the center of there. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Yeah. They're like, where? Bakersfield? No, that's too far. Oh, center was completely prepared to drive out to uh phoenix for the fourth of july thing and you're like no i'm like i live right by and don't go yeah he's like why not i'm all because it's 115 degrees that's rough that that's a rough one like it's a cool show don't get me wrong Mm -hmm. but uh i i've been here since 2015 now and i've never gone yeah but no, it's it is rough. Yeah, you know. But I I do want to make it out there for one of those uh, cruise nights though. So hopefully that works out sometime. July. Mm-hmm. July. We have to figure yeah, it that's out. That's what we're doing. Yeah, we that's ha- what we're gonna do. Yeah, June is bl- is blasted for me now. I'm leaving for Reno tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. You're you're getting ready to go. Yep. I just dropped a trailer off to get fixed, so I can trailer. I don't know, there's just a bunch of stuff coming up. Yeah. One quick thing to go back on the un- unfinished business show that yeah. I was curious about, because um, you that that was your also your first time, second time. Well, no, first time complete booth because at the uh, Roll in the Red Rock show, uh, Will Rucker brought out some stuff for you. But that was the first time you packed everything into the Maverick. How'd that work out? Good. Yeah. Good. I still the only thing I didn't bring was like the hoodies. Um, but <laughs> I, I I mean I yeah I could have brought more if I would have uh, put stuff on the tailgate. Mm-hmm. So everything fit in the bed except the easy up was hanging over by like this much. Oh, I was wondering about so that. So I couldn't shut the tailgate. I see. So if I would actually like, I have other easy ups, smaller ones. Mm-hmm. I could bring two small 10 by 10s if I didn't want it. Like if it came down to it and I could shut the yeah. tailgate. But yeah, no, I it, think it, wor- it worked. It looked like it worked out. It was totally and then, fine. And then it still worked out when I gave you the extra box the, of the drop stuff to bring back. Yep. Yeah. That worked yeah. out well too. 
that's cool that's yeah. great i was a little worried about that but it's good yeah no it was everything was cool everything was really good yeah, and that's it that's all we got to talk about yeah basically uh we got any questions for a dropping no, in segment no, nothing no nothing no. i know i was kind of like low-key looking real quick to see if we could maybe uh chew on a subject for a minute no no we got uh man we're we need to uh, put it out there for for asking some more questions oh well, yeah i mean if people have questions they can ask but i think we don't let's see hold on one second i have the album here let's see we got old ones yeah we can um, do old ones uh, we did this one already. That's Roulette's um, thing. Let's see. Nope. Oh, okay. Here's here's a good one, but I already know the answer. Okay. Oh uh, wait, wait, put the oh, music. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hold on. Okay. Ready, ready, ready and uh-huh. go. Drop and drop. Drop in. Drop in. I dropped everything. I knew the drops would come. Drop it! And stop. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to dropping in. Yeah, so I, Adam Barnhurst. Uh, hey guys, it's Adam from Oregon with the Pink Body Drop. Mighty Max, I have a question. Oh, yeah. um, what's your favorite thing that a viewer or friend has given to you guys at a show? I remember Frank received a Hot Wheels Forerunner, among other things. Love the podcast. Always listening. Appreciate it. I would one of the top ones, Adam, is when you gave us uh, Voodoo Donuts at the last. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, the awakening, the last awakening we went to. I was like walking around, and he pulls up. And he's like, "Hey, he's like, I got something for you." And I'm like, "What's that?" And he pulls out the this box of Voodoo Donuts. I'm like, "Sick!" Yeah. <laughs> so that was pretty awesome. So thank you, Adam, for that. Donuts, um, but, donuts are always good. Oh, psh, especially donuts are my favorite thing. Donuts are my most favorite thing. I I, I anyway. told I told Chelsea I said. I never realized how donuts were a, a L.A. thing until I moved out here. Donuts are an L.A. thing? Oh, yeah. Donuts really? are a Los Angeles thing, dude. So, mm. like, you know you have, like, just random donut stores? Like, you're yeah. just in a shop mini mart? Like, it started in L.A., you know what I mean? Like, and then it moved. I, I do to- know that because, like, it was a very, like, Vietnamese-based thing. There were a yeah. lot of Vietnamese donut shops, yeah. And then you had Winchell's. Remember Winchell's? I rem- oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I remember yeah. Winchell's. And yeah. so... Um, there's that podcast called LA in a minute. I don't know if mm-hmm. you listen to it, but he's like, it's like he 20 should. minute. Yeah. It's really good. And he talked about this donut thing the other day and I never realized about donuts. And so I moved out here. I was like, hey, I'm going to go to the, grab some donuts. And, and she's like, where, where are you getting them? Dunkin? I'm all, no, I'm not going to Dunkin. I'm going to, yeah. I'm going to go find me a donut shop in the mini mart, mini mall. They're not out here. Really? Interesting. <laughs> no. Never really I mean, thought about it. They're here and there they are, but like, mm-hmm. not like, SoCal, it's like oh, yeah, there are donut shops everywhere around here. Yeah. Now that you say that specifically, I'm starting to realize my we have a I, I've uh, taken pictures of the Forerunner uh, a couple times in front of it. There's a spot called Halo Donuts. It's right around the corner from my house. Yeah, it's the best. Like that's I always go there. But yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, hmm. we have like Bosa Donuts out here, which is good. It's a chain, so they're they're pretty good. But you know, and I don't eat really eat donuts too much. But man, donuts are good. Yeah, man, donuts and black coffee. That's the oh uh, yeah, the I don't power. Do black coffee, but I'll do yeah. like a donut, like a buttermilk donut and chocolate milk. Tri- well, I mean, try it with the black coffee. Mm, no, I can't do black coffee. Oh, that's no. that's. I'm not there yet. Yeah, but donuts. <laughs> that's a don- yeah, donuts. Donuts are tight. <laughs> I'm kind of hungry. Yeah. Um. So stuff like I've, uh, I and I I want to say all this without like sounding pretentious or anything just stuff people would give me and i want to be like yeah people give me stuff all the time but they do and i really appreciate it everything that i've ever been given uh i really appreciate um the the the, what adam is referring to is um our friend uh his instagram handle is lay in 720 on instagram we both got one that year yeah his name's rich um he's from idaho actually he's not from anyway he's from idaho um and he makes little like custom Hot Wheels and stuff, and he's really good at it. And one year at the Awakening, he came up to us and said, "Hey, we got I got something for you guys." And one was a little mini Forerunner, and yours was a, a mini Titan. Yeah. And the thing about that Forerunner, especially, is they don't. It's a Forerunner Hot Wheel is like not just easily accessible. You just can't go rock down to Walmart and pick one up. Like it, he had to like go search out this specific Hot Wheel. I don't know. I'm not a Hot Wheel like aficionado, so I don't know exactly about it. But I know I do know it's harder to, to acquire and it's blue and has graphics on it and has like five star wheels. And then he has another buddy um, and I'm going to mess this one up. Um, man, I'm going to mess this one up. But he has another buddy who's like a graphic designer 
who oh, designed who did the, the back. Yeah, yeah. Did, did the backs because it was like a, it was like a collaboration thing. So it was Rich who makes the the cars, and then this other person who I'm very sorry I'm forgetting who they are um, makes the cards for the back. So that was really really cool. Um, I have a, a good friend named Tommy from uh, Pacific Northwest. Um, I met actually funny enough I just met him at the Havasu Meltdown. Um, he has watched videos for a long time. He's actually producing videos now. He's like okay, filming cool. and, and making videos. And, you know, I've given you, you've talked to him, too. We've both given him some advice, you know, throughout the years. Yeah. Uh, but I see his parents a lot. His parents go to a lot of stuff. Oh, okay. and I, I, I met them. Oh, at, I remember uh, that. At, at the Oregon. Yeah. Everything happens at the Awakening, which is weird because I have another one, too. Yeah. Can you guys but, bring that back? That'd be yeah. Great. That's. A, oh, dude. I miss that show. That yeah. is. I do miss that show. At the fairgrounds, please. At the fairgrounds, the Eugene fairgrounds. I miss that show. That was like a nice little break in the middle of summer. Yeah. Because remember, I mean, you know, it gets 138,000 well, we degrees. We got Pacific Northwest shows that we do definitely need to that's go to. True. We oh, just need true. to like mm -hmm. um, figure it out next year. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the sitting pretty one I really want to go to. That's yeah. up uh, past uh, uh, Seattle, like near closer to Vancouver. That's yeah. a good one. Uh, but off getting off track. Um, yeah. So Tommy, he made me a skateboard. So it's a skateboard with the forerunner on it. And uh, it's funny that like the forerunner has, you know, we kind of <laughs> know this, that the forerunners developed into this like character, this thing, people its have, own thing. People you know? have to give you stuff to, cause you don't take it with you. So you just have to like, they give you toys. Oh, that's true. <laughs> but I get a lot. Like Tommy made me a skateboard. Uh, our friend uh, Damien in Missouri <laughs> Um, he, his Instagram is, uh, mad rabbit art. He has a lot of different Instagrams, but mad rabbit art, mad rabbit. Uh, oh, so he's got a few of them on Instagram. Um, he made me a really cool cup. Um, yep. it was a cool cup that was engraved and stuff also has the forerunner on it. And actually shout out to Damien because, um, the, like, you know, I have stickers whenever someone rocks up to the booth and buys stuff, I give them free stickers. One of the stickers is my face. It looks like a Simpson character. He drew that. Oh yeah! So oh yeah! yeah, shout, yeah, yeah. Out, shout out to Damon for Damien for making that. Uh, I'm just running through these. I'm sorry but again. See, like I didn't want this uh, to sound said, like. What's your favorite one? And then you're gonna leave everybody else there, out, and then everyone's gonna be like, "Well, what the mommy was." Well, uh, there was there's two things. Yeah. One, I don't really have a favorite one because they're all freaking awesome. And yeah. two, I don't want to sound like some. I don't know. I don't want to sound like. I don't know. I don't want to like. I, I now I'm like telling people about all these things, and now I've. The, I don't want to get the impression that like, oh, Frank. I don't know what I don't know what yeah, impression I'm giving out. I'm Nobody just makes explained. me stuff except Donald. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Donald. Thanks, Donald. Um, no, but I want to make sure I include everybody so they don't get feel like I I don't appreciate what they gave me. Yeah. Um, oh, did you have at the unfinished business show? Did did anyone come up to you and say Dwight sent you? They did. Uh, a couple young guys who were helping out in the body drop. Yeah, yeah, that, that yeah, was, yeah. I guess was, cool. so. It was one of the the sunset guys from out here. Um, okay. He told he they came up to me and they're like, "Hey, Dwight sent me," and I'm all, "Oh, you have to go up to the booth and uh, tell Frank that." <laughs> and they went up there and they're like, "Yeah, we don't even know what this is, this means." Oh, really? They <laughs> no, <didn't> no, <laughs> no, because one of the sunset guys knew, and he's like, "Hey, go tell that guy Dwight sent oh, you and see what he does." Funny. So now that's I have really to remember funny. to keep stickers in my back pocket. Okay, so when yeah. you're out and about, which reminds Dwight me, Dwight needs anymore. to make an appearance. Like that yeah. fool has been lazy as crap. Like he's not been doing anything. He's just been chilling. He's just been chilling. Wherever maybe, Dwight chills. Maybe the next giveaway. He'll Yeah. He doesn't care about these giveaways. He doesn't need yeah, a double he doesn't need a doubled in. No, I know. Yeah, it doesn't not gonna fit in his truck. His truck still has the uh the stock stereo and stuff yeah. in it. It's not gonna fit in there. No. And he doesn't need it anyway. He listens to like um well, you could listen like to an any, AM any, country oh, station. And <laughs> that's what he listens to. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of annoying. All right. Well, maybe we'll, hey, lots of people have given me lots of great stuff. Uh, it actually, the very first time someone gave me something, which I was like absolutely blown away, was uh, our friend Worm, um, who's now uh, in Severed. He got voted in at the Roll in the Red Rock show. Congratulations, yeah. Worm. That's rad. Um, he was also from the Pacific Northwest and also at the Awakening, and he gave me a license plate. That you know, like they cut them up and they have mm -hmm. different things. I should probably be showing all this stuff, like, or at least taking pictures or something. Yeah, uh, yeah. If you want to put it in the, uh, is this going on your channel? Uh, it is. Yeah. yeah. All right. When I, I'm gonna, you can add all this stuff to the thing and re-export okay. it. <laughs> all right. Or maybe not. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, guys. 
Oh man. Anyway, Anyways. sorry. I just a lot of lot of great stuff. Uh, Let's, last one one more. Boy, one gosh, more. man, you got a lot of stuff. I'm t- and I didn't want to come off like that as like you could have some... just said well one thing is my favorite and then left it alone. But then like my friend um, Kenny from Omaha, there these guys are all. He be, made they're... me this really cool thing that is like a it's a Sacred Heart and it says Custom Life that he uh, hand drew. You're still gonna forget someone and now they're gonna be more upset that you named them all except oh. them. If you would have just said the well, one I'm looking person, around my office, it that's everything. Oh, I need to hang stuff up. Yeah. Well, you can't see it on the podcast. All you can see. No, is I know, this. but if I want to, like, I'm going to take these pictures down and like put shelves up here and and yeah. uh, all this. Do you stuff. need to do a little uh, a little reconstruction? When anybody gonna... anybody wondering, this is a uh, an old um, AAA. My sister made this for me, and for our visual audio listeners coming over, the uh, you know, <laughs> my sister made this for me. It's it's a uh, old AAA map of Los Angeles. Oh. So that's what that is. Yeah, you can't see my map, but I do have a map behind me. I see that. <laughs> and a pinstripe. All right, we ran out of things uh, to talk yeah, about. Got, <laughs> let's talk about this weekend, how we, we are not going to Colorado like we originally said we were. That's this that weekend. That was supposed to be this weekend? That's this oh, weekend. Oh, wow. No. Wow. No, no, maybe it's not. Maybe it's no, no, no it's, it's, it's the 24th. Huh? Yeah, yeah. It's like oh, a couple okay, weekends from right. now. I knew it was. But I, I was very explicit in saying that, you know, how my kids' softball stuff was going to pan out and we're in the middle of it but let's just talk about some stuff stuff that's coming up yeah definitely let's talk about upcoming shows let's stop talking about ourselves that's that's what i was worried about sounding like conceited oh yeah let's stop talking about ourselves and how great we are well we never say we never said that that. we we never said that yeah we never said that no nix that from the record yeah because that's go ahead anyways i think the next so i'm going this week in reno and then i'm going to c10 nationals in salt lake and mm-hmm. then the weekend after that, I'm going to the Classic Truck Throwdown, or Classic Truck Showdown at, at Conroe, thrown by the same guys that as, as LST. Mm-hmm. Lonnie, so, Radar, and those guys? Yeah. And Jared. Yeah. So Jared, I am yeah. very excited for that one. And then, uh, so July is pretty slow. So I think that's, oh, I'm going to Blink-182 and Turnstile next week, too. Hey, dude, that's so sick. Yeah. You got to tell me all about that. I can't wait. So yeah. in So July... Well, also in June is the uh, Scraping the Rocky show in Colorado. Yep. The weekend of the 24th. People should go to that because that's going to be a really cool show. It is. Um, yeah. And it's, it's always cool to see shows pop up in new areas, too. You know what I mean? That's what intrigued me more about uh, anything is like new areas to go to. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, especially Colorado. I've never I've been to the airport in Denver, but I don't think I've ever driven through Colorado. So I was like me stoked neither. to like go up there. And it's not even that far from Arizona. So if you're like in the Phoenix area and you'd have nothing to do, or even if you have something to do, this is better than what you're going to do. Right. Go to that show. It's going to be cool. It's at a casino. It's at a casino. There's other hotels nearby. So it's all good. Yeah. And Uh, then also like, um, we should, we should be more proactive at doing this. This should, we could do another little segment in in the show is that's upcoming shows that people throw because like we said we may not be able to attend all of them but we can definitely talk yeah. about them here well yeah and if you, you guys know? are listening to this send us your flyer yeah. rem- remind us to talk about them i will make some notes um, and also don't send them to us specifically no, send, send them, them to, to the, the drop the drop yeah. the drop of frank and brian on instagram all one word yeah if you send them to us individually we will not talk about them yeah because we'll forget We'll forget. I'm sorry. Even if you send it to us on the drop too. No, we're not going to do that. Yes, we're we gonna are. we're gonna we're gonna try. We're gonna try. Okay, then we'll then I'll hold you to it. You get to okay. do that. Okay, cool. I'll, I will. I will do that. All right. Where's your I'll notepad? Where's better. your notepad? All right. <laughs> you didn't think I had it. You didn't think I had it. Uh huh. Okay. Um. When are so? Do you think July you're going to come out? Oh, for sure. Yeah, we yeah. just need to figure out what weekend. Um, and obviously, the fourth is is yeah. not going to work out. I'm going up to see our friends, uh, Holly and and. Uh, oh, you're going up there for sure. Yeah, Holly and Joey. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. We are. It's dang. gonna be cool. Yeah, I know. I'm I'm really excited about that. They're that, they're so great. I know that's gonna be so so. It's gonna be a lot of fun. That whole area up there is cool. Have you ever been up to that yeah. area at all? No, I've driven through Petaluma one time. Well, like I've driven well, through, but like Lake County up there. No, no. One time when we were coming back down from uh, the Canadian show, we drove through there. And, and funny enough, I drove right past Bubba's house in Ukiah. Ukiah. 
Ukiah, and then drove through Petaluma. Didn't say hi to anybody who just drove through, but yeah. that was the only time. I that love happened. Petaluma. It's really nice. Petaluma is awesome. Like Joey lives right there, like right by downtown. All the bars, all the oh, cool restaurants. I've never been, I'm excited. Yeah, it's cool. And Joey's a great time. And Holly, Holly's the best. Yes, this is true. Yep. Um, yeah, it's you're gonna probably have to do. Yeah, I'm trying to think. I don't know. We'll talk about that post podcast. Yeah, for sure. And I then, think we're we're wrapped up. The the beginning of this episode is gonna be kind of interesting. See how uh, that all comes together. The what? The beginning of this episode, where we because of all the little issues we were having. Oh yeah, well, it's a mess. It's a complete mess. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm sure you'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. I, I got to do it. Yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> and I'll have it uploaded in the Dropbox tonight, so you get to review cool. it. Um, yeah. Oh, and then I'm going to the slowdown in August. Oh, you are going now? I am, well, no, I was always going. No, you don't. No, no, no. Yes, yes, you said yes. you weren't. Uh, no, I was. Me and oh, man, you, I were, so one you, of our good, one of our um, bacon. You get on this and you tell us because I swear that you said a couple episodes ago that you weren't going because Mike wasn't going and you're like, oh, I'm probably not going to go. Oh, no. Maybe I said that not on the podcast so John wouldn't hear it. But um, no, I'm definitely going. Okay, cool. Then I'm going. Are you going to go? If you're going, I'm going. Oh, Chelsea's going. Maybe Angie will go. And it's her birthday weekend. And it's Angie's birthday weekend, too. And I forgot that that was part of the problem of going. No, the the problem was it was when it was your kids' birthdays. Oh, that's right. What day is it? Yeah, it's the 5th. That is my kid's birthday weekend. We'll have to work that out. Her birthday's yeah. on the 8th. Well, it's, yeah, just tell her she can she can make her birthday anytime you want. Uh, but no, yes. so we're going to go. Um, the motel, I got rooms at the Motel 6 right there. They're not expensive at all. Okay. Um, but I think Joe and Morgan, I don't know if they're going to go or not. But obviously, if they don't, we have an extra bed. And you guys are more than welcome. Or if you just come... Whatever. Yeah, we go. We'll we're, work it out because we're gonna get there on Thursday. Oh, and, nice! And then we're gonna s- spend all day Friday at the beach. Nice. Set the booth up, do the show Saturday, and then jam home Sunday. So nice. Well, hey, yeah. that sounds that sounds very enticing, and I would like to do all that. Yeah. So not in, anyone, and not not in, <laughs> sounds like, and also not intrude on what you got going because it sounds like I'm inviting myself. <laughs> no, no, no. Invite yourself. Like that's totally oh. the, the okay. Yeah. No, that's totally right, cool. It's gonna that's be cool because it's on the golf course right on the beach. Yeah. So oh, that they moved it. They that's moved right. it to a Villa Beach, a Villa Beach, yeah. a Villa Beach. Yeah, yeah. That's where uh, me and uh, Mike went down there and, and did a little shoot on his truck. Yep. So it's yeah, right, it's literally right on the beach this time. Cool, man. That's yeah. awesome. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, and that's one that I don't booth it up or anything. And no, you I just, don't have you a C ten, so you slide into my booth. Yeah, and and tell Angie said this is this is a vacation. Yeah, we're going on vacation. Yeah, this is not work. Yeah. Well, maybe we'll watch Brian's booth while he does work. Oh, you 100 percent because yeah. Chelsea, Chelsea won't <laughs> Chelsea's watch. Chelsea's not going to do it. <laughs> Chelsea's going to be like, "You want me to do what? No." Yeah. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. You, I, okay, I already cool. trick her into coming to things. I got to be like, "No, nah, it's fine." Joe's going. He's going to watch the booth. You don't have to do anything. She's like, cool. Okay. Right on. Awesome. Well, I think that's it, huh? Yeah, we're under an hour on this one, but are you sure? Oh yeah, we're we're, we're right at an hour, but we're struggling. We're struggling to find stuff to talk about. I thought it was good. That was a good conversation. No, no, it is a good conversation. Mm-hmm. But uh, we'll figure out what to talk about next week. It's just <laughs> one of those things. I'll talk about how I'm going to go to Reno, mm-hmm. and I'm going with Brandon from Fuel, and we're going to play roulette. Oh, nice! Yeah, that sounds cool. It oh, is. Yeah, yeah. Right on. All right, cool. Well, we'll see you guys next week. All right, bye. Later. Oh wait, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Grinder-TV.com, LiveLifeCustom.com. We're giving away a, a Kenwood Double Din and backup camera when and you guys buy stuff. When this drops, it'll drop at 3 in the morning on Monday, Pacific Standard Time. Uh huh. That website will have my website. The drop shirts will be on the Grinder TV website. Yes. Uh, don't know what size. I haven't even looked at the box at what sizes we have. You have them all. Okay. So we have all the size, small to 4X? 4. four okay. XL. One, one 4XL. Oh. So if you're a 4XL, 4XL dude get on it yeah i'm gonna take a 3x out of there because this is a 4x and it's too loose you're, you're swimming in that thing. yeah so um we'll have them on there till they sell out cool yeah and all right so go do that stuff double points so every five bucks you spend you get two points two entries yeah two entries yes yeah. so you'll get so instead of uh because you, you put them up for 30 bucks 25 25 25 yeah. bucks so instead of five entries you're gonna get 10 10 entries boom 
do it. All right. Now. Now. We'll see you guys next week. Later. Later. <laughs>